this is a very easy repair. Everybody equipped with the right tools can do it. Before we begin, make sure you have the right battery. Since 2010, MacBook Air 13s haven't changed easily, but the size have changed at least twice. Please check the description, I've put the compatibility data there. If you haven't bought the battery yet and not sure about the MacBook's modification, you may disassemble the laptop and check the battery model at first. The battery model is a 4 digit number with a leading A, just like the laptop model. Currently, there are three possible options A1377, A1405, A1495. Now, let's check the tools which you will need to replace the battery. Apple's first line of defense is the bandlock screws. To unscrew them, you will need a special screwdriver. Apple doesn't want you inside your laptop. They say it's for security reasons, but it's obvious that it has nothing to do with your security and have everything to do with their pocket security. Currently, Apple uses three different sizes for the pantalop screws. One for the iPhone, another for the Apple Watch, and the last one is one you need for the MacBook. It's 1.2mm dimension, and usually you can get it for free or very cheap with the battery. Additionally, you will need a Torx T5 screwdriver to deal with the screws on the battery. If you don't have it handy, I recommend you to get a super multi multi screwdriver set like this from China, where both screwdrivers will be present. Alright, let's get started. Unscrew 10 pentalobes. Remember that two long screws belong to the middle of the laptop thick side, and other eight are the same size. the deck cover towards you, it may make a subtle popping sound, which is normal. Before you do anything, unplug the old battery. If you disassemble your laptop for the first time, or you see a lot of dust all over the body, it's worth to clean it a little. You may use a toothbrush or a gas duster, which works the best. Now you can deal with 5 Torx T5 screws. Remember that there are 3 longer screws. They belong to the central hole and those two towards the thick side. If you misplace the screws and try hard to get the long screw to the hole where the short was, you will be rewarded with a nice aluminium bubble which will be pretty easy to spot. Now remove the old battery and get the new one. Remember, the longest screws belong to the top.
short ones to the bottom. Before you place the back cover back, connect the battery to the main board. Now all you have to do is get those 10 screws back. Two longer screws come to the thick side in two holes in the middle. Et voilà, hope you enjoyed the video, please comment, share and subscribe.